every time I plug in my phone, I get this. Could not connect to device. I'm trying to transfer all my videos for YouTube and so forth onto my Mac. Okay, I am at Samsung Smart Switch, part of Samsung, and I am just going to click on download for Mac. I'm oh, sorry. Double click. Welcome to some Samsung Smart Switch and you will be guided through the steps. Why is it so difficult to transfer files from an Android to a Mac? Come on, Mac. Apple, you kind of got to do a little bit better than this. But anyways, I'm glad that I found the smart switch, so I'm hoping that this works. So keep your fingers crossed. It's so frustrating. So I changed my USB connection. I hate how this thing keeps coming up there. Come in. I think we're in, people. Uh. Please work, please work. Okay, supposedly what you can do is you you can drop them. So I think what I'm gonna do is just to test this out, I'm going to drop this one and I'm gonna put it into my external. Okay, now let's hope. That should be one of my videos that I'm showing you guys. Yes, okay, it worked. All right, you guys, so there you go. <laughs> what a pain in the booty, big time. Okay, so basically you can just drag and drop wherever you want it to go, but at least now I know how to transfer. Cool. So cute. I still love this thing. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to shape? See that? Yeah. Need to shape it up a little bit. So nice. great when you got like a small job like this. I mean it's not like a lot of power but it's definitely a lot. that. Isn't that cute? All nice and trimmed. All with my six inch Black and Decker. see what is it <laughs> I'm losing track of my days here it is what is today today is Wednesday oops a penny um I'm trying to do my laundry but I wanted to tell you guys what's going on 
Um, I am trying to get myself um, packed. I am going to attend my uncle's um, um, funeral tomorrow morning. And that is in um, Arizona. So I have to... Oops. Go there, um, you know, on behalf of my mother and um, husband and our family, since it's my mom's closest um, sister. 7.30, let's say I woke up around 5 this morning, and I just need to do this, and then I also need to... Um, touch up my my hair color and I got these at Dollar Tree they actually I like them they're really good um, and it's a lot of planning I'll show you guys what I'm doing let's see finish my nails check <laughs> updated my planner check check um, went over the medical binder again briefly with my husband this is something I've always had I did a video about this if you want to check that out um, but in here it has all of her uh, medical event history that's important for anyone who is going to see my mom as all her vital history her list of medications her um, routine her um, power of attorney health directive Everything is in here. Our address, in case someone needs to call 911, emergency contacts, everything is in here. The caregiver and my husband and our neighbors all know where this is at. It's always available that's next to her, but it's definitely something that um, I'm going to keep on the counter for for everyone. And then let me show you what I was working late last night. Okay, so this is, <laughs> I didn't really want to show everything, but... Um, that right there is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that is all her schedules, like her uh, meal schedule, her activity schedule, even down to her which channel she'd like to watch in the evening with her shows so that the caregiver and my husband um, totally know what to do every hour on the hour just so that I can keep her routine consistent. So, um... I did have to hire my caregiver. Thank God she didn't have anything going on on Thursday. So I got to hire her for 10 hours to help us out. And she was totally available and able. So um, she really likes my mom. So she was a lifesaver on that. And then she also is going to come back on Friday to be with my mom until I get home from the airport. So that works out perfect. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> A lot of planning has to take place for this you know um, and I have my itinerary up I have phone numbers for them to contact me at yeah and then here is my meal plan for the week I made everything kind of simple I did all of my grocery shopping on um, Monday so um, husband and mom are going to have Togo sandwich for tonight. And then tomorrow I got um, pre-made the chicken strips in a package. And then Alfredo sauce in a jar. And then all he has to do is just cook pasta. Or you that there's some frozen minestrone soup that I made homemade. He can just reheat that. And then on Friday I'm just going to throw in a baked chicken. Something real simple. I might just get a rotisserie chicken and um, potato salad at the grocery store. And just call it a day. And then Saturday and Sunday, I'm really not too sure exactly what I'm going to do on Saturday. Um, husband has military, so it's like, ugh, it's just a lot of um, switching around people's schedules. <laughs> so we'll see what we're going to have. But at least meal plan totally works perfect.